Birds near airports are a serious safety issue, and SeaTac Airport has a new approach to handling them. In partnership with the University of Illinois researchers and the FAA, SeaTac is the first airport in the nation to use a new advanced bird tracking system that permits real-time displays of bird activity in approximately a two-mile radius around the airport. The system uses three radar dishes, each assigned to a set of altitudes, two atop the airport office building and one mobile unit. Steve Osmek is in charge of wildlife abatement at SeaTac and he can monitor the system so with a laptop you know, computer. Uh, we're out here right now because I just wanted to make sure that Maybe folks had an idea how the radar is being used uh, uh, to make sure that they understand where the radars are and what their capabilities are. So I'm able to look at the radars that are picking up birds at great distances from the airport, look at the higher elevation birds as well as the birds that are closer to the proximity of the airport and really those birds that would be considered the more hazardous birds because it's closer to those areas where the planes are taking off and landing. If birds are found to be too close, they use pyrotechnics from a gun. Osmec is also charged with keeping coyotes off the runway and they've installed a fence that is buried 12 feet deep and at an angle to discourage burrowing under it. All the new fencing from about 2002 to date is all this coyote deterrent fencing. And we've seen already, we have not have a, had a single coyote come onto the airport since December 21st. The avian radar is monitored day and night from a new system in the airport office building. Uh, we just introduced this avian radar display into this room, the airport operations center, in the last uh, couple days, just to give this group the ability to see and to monitor these bird hazards on the airport as they occur real time. We have anywhere from one to three people on the airport at any given time doing a variety of different jobs one of those jobs is to monitor for the presence of hazardous wildlife. And that's where this avian radar comes in. The question now is, how does this avian radar help airport operators to detect and abate hazardous wildlife? And that's really the next stage of this validation. A year ago, in the last couple years, we were looking at how well does the radar detect birds we know the radar now, it does detect birds very well, even if they're small birds like sparrows and certainly larger birds like Canada geese. Now we need to have some human intervention. When these targets are detected, we need to have a person on the ground to go take a look at these areas of high bird activity and then do an assessment of that hazard. How hazardous is that bird activity there? If it's sparrows, that's not something we're going to be that concerned about. If it's something like waterfowl, or, or, and certainly geese, or herons, or eagles, or hawks, or gulls, those are the birds that we want to know about. And a starling by itself will show up on this display, and that's not going to be that big of an issue for us. But when you start getting flocks of 1,000 to 1,500 starlings, then those flocks are of significant size that they really are a hazard. I mean, more people have died, in fact, I know this, more people have died because of starlings than they have from any other bird out there. Even though they are small, it's the large flocks, it's that biomass, the concentration of living material in the air, which makes a big target and something that when a plane hits it, it can cause substantial damage, especially if, that was, if those birds are ingested into an engine. This is Pat Robinson for HighlineTimes.com.